Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So this reading is for May 2022 or whenever you come across this reading, you know these readings are timeless. Um, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I'm getting um, some sort of change happening in your life with the Tower Six of Swords. Some of you um, might be deciding to move on from a karmic situation, something that you've realised no longer serves you. Now this could be a person, could be a job, family member, friend. I'm getting a very strong attachment here though. Um, it's like you've never really been happy around this energy. Whatever it may be, as I said, whatever relates to you. And something has happened recently, or it could be it's going to happen, that just makes you realise the reality of this situation. It's time to cut out this energy. It could be an addiction for some of you. It's interesting, we've got two kings come out. Yeah, now I'm seeing, so for some of you, this is a relationship. I, I strongly feel that. Um, you know, you could be married or you, you've just been with this person for a long time. Could be work, as I said. I'm getting something around the material world. Okay, another scenario though I'm getting is for some of you, you move on and then you meet your match. We've got your energy and an earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's interesting, we've got the wolf and the owl, both very intuitive, old souls, drawn together when the energy is right. Let's get some more on these two kings. Doesn't matter about gender, by the way. Um, you know, it can be it can be same sex, can be man woman, whatever resonates for you. There's no gender in tarot. Um, we do have Capricorn, Scorpio, predominantly. Yeah, there's definitely an element of learning and growing that a lot of you have, have been through um, and potentially leaving someone behind, leaving a situation behind. I feel for some of you this choice is difficult. Wow. But then you get the Ten of Cups, you see. Ultimate happiness. 
is your divine match on the way. Uh, you might have a child, or they might. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the world, completion of a chapter happening for a lot of Libras at the moment. Finding your happiness. See, she looks really happy there. She's stepping into this new portal. She's blessed. He or she, with the Six of Swords, definitely moving on. Feel here, yeah, wow, we've got Twin Flame energy strongly coming through here. A second chance for some of you. Being drawn together at the right time. Going on your solitary path. I feel that's what this person does as well. Um, Sagittarius. Gemini, Virgo. So, anything else on this Ten of Cups? It's beautiful that we got that. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune again, the Chariot. So things are going to move forward in this connection. The yin and yang shows when you're both aligned and you've moved out of these karmic situations. Only then can the energies be right between you both. It's interesting this flew out over the devil. So it's moving on from that energy is the message I'm getting here. Now if it's not you, it could be your person, but I do feel this, this is both of you. Yeah, there's, there's been a, a big rebirth, or well, there's going to be a rebirth for some of you, the Empress as well. This person has always been in your heart. You want to build a foundation together. Again, I'm getting a child, potentially, family. Second chance at this connection. Cancer, Sagittarius. Wow, Libra, I'm going to extend this reading because I feel there's more we can now look at in terms of this person's energy at the moment, blocks in this connection, how they feel about you and the likely outcome of this connection. For those not going to extended, I'll pull an advice card. So you've got the Hermit again. Some of you are being guided to retreat and recharge take some time out from the world, especially to think things through, go within, you have the answers within. It's interesting we've got the wolf again that we had with the king of pentacles. It says transform and unveil your gifts. Yeah, some of you have a lot of inner knowledge. You can see things from a higher perspective. So you have spiritual gifts that could bring you great abundance if you use them. So there's this big shift happening for some of you, I feel. Making these changes, moving on from something. For some of you it could be the workplace and you're being guided to use your gifts because you are blessed and you will be rewarded. Beautiful Libra. Okay, so the link to the extended is in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Thank you for being here. 
Sending lots of love to you all.